Dear student, I am Anup sir here. I am taking your maths class today. We will discuss on the topic lines and angles, which is the sixth chapter of NCERT book. Now you have studied that the minimum two points are required to draw the line. Children, in your daily life. You see the different type of angles formed between the edge of plane surface for making a similar kind of model using plane surface you need to have the knowledge of angle for an example suppose you want to make the model of hut to keep in the school exhibition using bamboo stick imagine how you would make it you would keep some stick parallel to each other and some stick would be kept slanted whenever an architect has to draw the plane for a multi story building he has to draw the intersecting lines and parallel lines at different angles without the knowledge of property of these lines and angles we cannot make it children in this chapter you will study the property of angle formed when two line intersect each other and also the property of angle formed when a line intersect two or more parallel line at distinct point so in this chapter here we are discussing the basic terms of and definition regarding lines and angles children a point first topic is point you all are know about the definition of point it has no length width and height so we denoted point as a dot and we make it like dot a and ray what is ray a ray a part of a line which has one end point and goes to one direction this is ray we denoted this at ab arrow mark in one direction where a line a line has two end point and goes evenly infinite distance to both the side is called line we denoted as a ab arrow mark both the end line segment line segment is a part of line which is finite distance like ab line segment is 5 cm so we denote ab bar is equals to 5 cm angle an angle has a common end point with two rays goes to the different direction a part of this is called angle like this is angle aob or we can write this angle boc or we can say only angle o so here is the next topic the types of angle how many types of angle are there let's see children first acute angle acute angle an angle which is less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degree is called acute angle like theta is here an acute angle is equals to 60 degree next one is right angle if an angle is exactly 90 degree this is called right angle like here theta an angle which is equals to 90 degree now the next is obtuse angle you all know about the obtuse angle which is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree an angle in between 90 to 180 is called obtuse angle like angle is equals to theta is equals to 120 degree now in the same way the straight angle what is a straight angle A straight angle is exactly equal to 180 degree that means a straight line 
so if you make this type of diagram and next one is reflex angle what is reflex angle an angle is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called reflex angle how can we understood this let's see here this is a straight line this is a straight line but angle goes to more than a straight line that means 180 degree is called reflex angle this angle shows that this is reflex now what is complete angle when angle complete from 0 to 360 degree that means a complete round is called complete angle that means theta is equals to 360 degree children here some more definition regarding the angles first one is complementary angle what is complementary angle two angles whose sum is 90 degree are called complement to each other like angle a plus b is equals to 90 degree angle a is suppose that 30 degree and b is suppose that 60 degree the sum of both the angle is equals to 90 degree then they are said to uh, complement to each other they are different and they are adjacent also supplementary angle what is supplementary angle two angles whose sum is equal to 180 degree are called supplementary angle like angle a plus angle b is equals to 180 degree suppose that angle a is 60 degree angle b is 120 degree sum of both the angle is equals to 180 degree the both the angles are different or adjacent also then we can say that they are supplementary angle now what is adjacent angle two angles are said to be adjacent if they have a common vertex and a common arc here two angles angle aob and angle boc here the common vertex of both the angle and ob arm is common in both the angles so this is adjacent angle linear pair angle what is linear pair angle two adjacent angles whose sum is 180 degree are called linear pair angle like a plus b is equals to 180 degree angle suppose that angle a is 60 degree b is 120 degree so here we have a question in our mind that what is the difference between supplementary angle and linear pair angle what is the difference between both the angle because uh, sum of two angle is also is equals to 180 degree here also and sum of two angle is equals to 180 degree here also so what is the basic difference here the basic difference of both the angle in linear pair both the angles are adjacent only but in supplementary angle they are adjacent they can adjacent also or they can different also children here one more definition regarding angle vertically opposite angle what is vertically opposite angle when two lines intersect each other at a point when two lines intersect are intersect each other at a point then the angle formed by the uh, in opposite vertex is called vertically opposite angle you see in this diagram line aob and cod intersect each other at point o so angle formed the by the opposite vertex in opposite vertex like angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angle and angle 2 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angle note that vertically opposite angle are always equal angle 1 so angle 1 is equals to angle 3 and angle 2 is equals to angle 4 children here is the theorem 6.1 the theorem is if two lines intersect each other then the vertically opposite angles are equal how can we prove this theorem in five step all the theorems are proved 
first one given then to prove then diagram then construction if it is required then last final step is proof so what is given given lines ab and cd intersect each other at point o now we have to prove what is proof vertically opposite angle 1 is equals to angle 3 and angle 2 is equals to angle 4 here is the here is the diagram this is line a b and this is line c d intersect each other at point o here is the angle 1 here is the angle 2 here is angle 3 and this is angle 4 construction naming angles as shown in figure now the next step is proof since line ab and cd intersect at o therefore angle 1 plus angle 2 is equals to 180 degree equation number 1 reason linear pair angles angle 1 plus angle 2 is equals to linear pair angle because both the angles are on line ab similarly angle 2 plus angle 3 is also equals to 180 degree equation number 2 with same reason linear pair angle because on line cd both the adjacent angles are lie on the line cd so this is linear pair angle by equation 1 and 2 we can say that that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equals to angle 2 plus angle 3 because if right hand side of both the equations are equal then left hand side are also equal to each other cut down with angle 2 to angle 2 so we have angle 1 is equals to angle 3 so we can say that the vertically opposite angles are equal similarly we can say that similarly angle 2 is also equals to angle 4 isn't it so student i hope that you will understand this topic very well thank you and have a nice day